haven't even quite filled her out yet, if I'm being honest. <laughs> dreamed about being an astronaut as a kid. By pursuing those things in school, I was able to eventually bring everything together in my job as a submarine officer in the Navy. And I realized I had a real passion for working in a tough environment. Some of my mentors helped me recognize that the astronaut program might be a good fit for me. And the more I learned about it, the more I realized that I wanted to apply and hopefully continue my service in the Navy in the astronaut program. And I'm just really lucky that it worked out. I was actually having a very busy day at work, so I missed the first call from Houston that day and was super nervous because they didn't leave a message and I didn't know if it was good news or bad news. So I kept my phone in my hand for the next hour or so and I was standing next to my boss when I got the call and answered it and lucky and lucky for me it was positive news. I always was drawn to science and math as a kid growing up in school and so when I got to the Naval Academy I was lucky to have the choice of almost any major you can imagine but especially really great engineering majors available there. So I'm definitely drawn to the hard, you know, rules and logic of science and math, but I love being able to apply them creatively to accomplish new things. I would give the advice that you should always pursue things that you're passionate about. If you don't love what you're doing, you're not going to be good at it. Um, so I think it's a combination of, of finding things that you really love and that will also be really challenging and force you to grow along the way. Subscribe for more space. space, space.